Hello, welcome. How are you? I hope you are doing well. This feels like it has been a long, long time coming. I am finally packing a bag to go on a hot abroad trip. Honestly, between fostering and COVID, I feel like I haven't gone away for so, so long and this feels fantastic <laughs> to actually be going away. In terms of this trip, it's about a it's just shy of three week trip to Italy, split between city and beach. We are spending some time in Rome, first of all, and then we are gonna get the train down to Naples. We're really, we're stopping in Naples just for one day just to get a pizza because that is the home of <laughs> pizza. Stop in Naples, then we're going over to Mount Vesuvius and Pompeii, and then we're gonna spend some time in Sorrento and the Amalfi Coast. So looking forward to it, so, so looking forward to it. I cannot wait. Let's get into packing. We are leaving first thing in the morning, so I need to get this done. The bag I am taking is my trusty Osprey Bar Point 40. I love this bag. In terms of my style, I'm very much backpacker type um, type traveller. I bought this bag when we were going backpacking, we went travelling around Thailand and it served me well and I love it. I love that it's a backpack and it like opens up fully. For my luggage I am doing carry-on only so I have a, this bag is going to be my 10 kilo bag and then I can have a personal item as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to use for my personal item to be honest. I'm not sure what you can get away with. I think it's got to fit underneath your seat hasn't it? So I'm hoping that this will work. This is, this is the bag I'm going to use. It's the bag that I've always, like, ever since for the last five years, six years or so, I've always used this bag. So I'm hoping everything will fit in. So I think we should do clothes first. That sounds the best option to me. I have a lot of packing cubes here that, to be honest, we're getting a bit scratchy now, but we'll see. I'm going to see where we... Uh, where we go how we get on with these packing cubes i might just to be honest just have one packing cube and try and fit in all of my clothes into one packing cube we'll see how that goes in terms of what i've got then let's have a little think i have got tops let's just put in all these <laughs> tops this is one two three four five six seven seven tops and they're all just simple kind of you know vest vest top style tops really I may have to I may have to remove some of them we'll have to see how it goes let's go short that makes sense to me I have got three pairs of shorts here I have a pink pair like this and then these shorts have gone everywhere with me. They are years and years old and I will wear them until they literally fall apart. I have another pair. These are fantastic. They have got pockets in them. Love shorts with pockets or dresses especially with pockets. Dresses with pockets. Let me show you. This, this one is just a black. It's literally I just like throw it on. I think it's the right one. Yeah. It's just like a, a throw over but it's got pockets in and I wear it when it's hot like at home or what I just it's a fantastic throw over dress like throw over your swimsuit or whatever or bikini and I tried to find it in some different colours because you know black isn't the best summer colour I really struggled I couldn't find anything like this that I liked um but it just had like a loose flowy dress with pockets but there we go uh so I've got three pairs of shorts there what else should i pack i think i might pack like underwear and swimsuits in a separate a separate little cube if i can so i have got three three swimsuits i think that should be enough because we are so even when we're in um the other places like room and everything we have uh, managed to get a hotel with a pool we're staying just slightly slightly like walkable distance sort of like a 20 minute walk maybe 15 minutes into the city because we really wanted to have a pool like it's 
like it's so hot it's the height of the season it's august our plan anyway is like to go and do like the sightseeing type bits in the morning and then like when it's cooler and then we can come back jump in the pool that's the plan hopefully <laughs> um so yeah three swimsuits and then obviously like when we're at the instant the Amalfi coast there'll be lots of beach and pool stuff i have got just i'm only taking obviously i'm going to travel in one but i just have like two um like bralettes and then this pink i don't know like crop top bra thing <laughs> i'll take them that will do because i will just i'll just give them a rinse if, <laughs> if needs be how many pairs of pants do i have like seven pairs of pants again i can just give them a give them a wash whilst i'm in the shower i'm not a fussy person um i'm not particular about things like that i think when you've when you've backpacked around Asia for a year, you kind of learn to just get on with things a bit, and that's kind of the style of <laughs> traveller oh, that I am. Let's shove this in. So in this is, um, I'm going to leave these out for now. I don't know, I'm going to put one in and see how we go. This is just a kind of big sarong type thing. I got it in, I think, Thailand when we were traveling and actually no i didn't i got it in bali and um it i just like to have something like this you can throw it down extra like on the beach or if i want to use it to wrap round i don't know i just like having one so i'm going to put one in and i'm going to hold off on this see if there's space uh, and then move on again with dresses I'm, i've got a few what i would call night more nighttime dresses they're just a bit thicker but well to be honest they're quite casual day dresses if i'm honest <laughs> but i will probably wear them at night this is just a, a white see i'm not gonna wear that during the day i mean it is quite casual but i'll probably wear that in the night i'm questioning all of my clothes and everything now again like it's a casual kind of dress posh <laughs> i don't know this, this is what i'm taking it will have to do i'm gonna take that black like throw on thing that i showed you that is will be purely daytime and then i've got this white dress that i guess is a bit more fancy an evening dress if you go out for meals which i'm sure you will do go out for meals in the evening do that one I'm, i still don't know whether i'm a fan of i but i always roll my clothes but i don't know whether i'm actually a fan of it or whether i just i'm just doing it i don't <laughs> i don't know and then oh this one sorry i'm just doing this one in this is i really like this one it's, from, it's just a nice nice flowy light dress so i will pack that so i think so i've got one, two, three, four, four dresses really, and then one that's like an over the costume type thing. And I think this, I may sacrifice this and leave this at home. I think that's it for clothes. Should we zip this up and see? I'm not sure I'm going to be getting on this 10 kilos. And 10 kilos is not a lot, is it? Right, in terms of shoes, so I have what I will wear when I'm there. Pretty, I'm not going to take a lot of shoes at all. I'm going to take, uh, I imagine this to be what I wear basically all the time. These are earth runners. Oh my goodness, they're fantastic. Um, I will put a link down below for them if you want to check them out. They are relatively new to me, but they're just amazing. I love them so, so much. Uh, I'm going to pack those and i'm gonna travel in <laughs> this is such like a backpacker thing to do to put your shoes in a um <laughs> what's this a shower cap and um nice <laughs> these are again these are quite new to me i'm gonna travel in these these are uh shoes from tropic field again i will link them down below because they are like all terrain shoes you can like in the water in them they 
this sounded really good and had some fantastic reviews and so I'm gonna I haven't really used them that much out and about which possibly is a silly idea to be then going away and then being your only kind of shoes but that's just what I'm doing and I'm pretty sure that'll be good I'm pretty sure that'll be good so I well well I won't need to put them in that I'll put the flip flops in the shower cap for now because I will like I said travel in these in terms of a traveling outfit I am going to travel in these are a pair of loose black pants they are actually they're from um backpacking bananas the the channel backpacking bananas her solo brand and they are the pants the same version as the shorts that have got pockets they're the same the same version but just as pants so they've got like pockets which is really handy for traveling but they're nice and loose just like a simple vest top and take oh i'm gonna wear this that's like the like the pink one that i had so i'll have a white version of it out there with me and that is all i'm actually gonna wear to travel in i was contemplating like some form of cardigan jacket something realistically when we get a bit to italy it's like 30 <laughs> it's 30 degrees constantly and i'm not gonna wear a long sleeve thing if it's a problem when i'm over there i guess i can purchase something but i think actually what i might do is take out the the, the version in fact, let's just do it now the it's the wrong type thing i packed in here i'll keep this is in a more handy place so that if it is a bit chillier on the plane or anything and i can just wrap this around me a little bit right moving on to toiletries i guess um this is my liquids bag obviously with traveling at hand luggage only i can only take a little 100 100 liters 100 milliliter bottles and initially i was gonna just buy everything over there and there are some things that i'm still gonna buy over there i'm gonna buy like any hair stuff like shampoo and conditioner over there but i am gonna take some things with me just because i found them i, I had i had these things and i figured i may as well take them and so i kind of you know use them up so what i have got is let me show you i have got these 100 mil are they 100 mil? Yeah, they're 100 mil. 100 mil. I don't know whether I'm a massive lover of the brand necessarily, but I found them that I had them, and rather than them going to waste, I thought I should take them. There's two. Uh, what are these called? Two sun creams, a 15 and a 20, and then there is uh, an after sun as well. Taking them, I found this <laughs> 30. SPF this is just going to be for our faces taking those I've got a toothpaste standard uh, again I just this is an old thing that I just found and I figured I may as well <laughs> use it I don't normally use creams on my face I normally mix up an oil with like vitamin E and lemon and carrot oil and stuff and I didn't want to take that and use that on holiday and I had this in my little stash of stuff just like a little face cream so I'm just going to take that and use that I'm not sure there's actually got an SPF in it I'll probably wear it like at night time anyway got a face cream uh, this is my son's deodorant uh, I don't think he's got a, a toiletries bag because he's just going to use well all he's got is his deodorant and he'll just share the sun cream and stuff with me these are this one is really empty that's why i've got i've got two they're just a little uh robinson's fruit drink i don't know what they're called apple and apple and black currant i mean mostly we will drink 
water but sometimes you just get a bit fed up with water and just want to squeeze a bit of juice in i always kind of travel with one of these so more for my son really to be honest i'm not that fussy but he's a bit fussy sometimes and we just quite like to have a juice sometimes so got those and then in terms of other liquids i have got i can't believe whether to take this i this is just my foundation and honestly i feel like it's been so long since i've been on holiday in the heat i can't remember but i'm pretty sure that i never i always take like foundation and stuff and i end up never wearing it because it just it's better off during the day absolutely i don't wear any makeup at all when i'm on holiday but in the evening sometimes i feel like it's quite nice but then i feel like actually all i do end up doing is just like putting some mascara on but i'm gonna take it just in case so i'm gonna take that uh i've got a mascara because yeah i will put on a bit of mascara just in the evenings and then um a nail varnish because i painted my toes yesterday in this colour and if it chips or anything it will just drive me insane so I'm taking this nail varnish with me and I have got this Sally Hansen Maximum Growth I, can't, I keep trying to grow my nails and then I bite them and I'm going to take it with me so that is it for liquids should be fine there's not that many millilitres in there I don't think and then in terms of just like a few other bits and pieces like toiletry wise it's just a little bit of other makeup stuff that isn't liquid again i'm not entirely sure if i will actually use them but i don't want to be without them i don't think if it's a problem put it inside the bag we can reassess in a little bit but i've just got like a an eyebrow pencil some lip balm a powder some blush some what are these called um they're not called tweezers. Well, I'm a tweezers actually. I have to find my tweezers. These, um, what are they? Eyelash, eyelash curlers. So I have those. Then I have another bag. And inside this bag, let's tip it all out and see. So I have got a bit of, it's a bit of like a first aid bag and other bits and pieces. I have just got some gauze and some dressings that my son got from hospital. He has had some surgery well back in June now. Um, we're taking these more of a like a just in case he doesn't shouldn't be needing any of them, um, but just in case we're taking them, don't want to be without these things. Um, a brush, a tangle teaser, one Then I have my toothbrush, a nice new bamboo one because my other one is getting pretty close now so i figured if you're on holiday would be a perfect time to start a new one i have a little mirror i have some paracetamol like i, I know you can buy paracetamol in italy but it's just you know i've got them it's handy if i have my own and oh that's what i've forgotten some normal plasters i need to pack a few normal plasters in here as well i figured it would be a good idea to take some blister plasters especially seeing as i'm going with new shoes <laughs> so i was packing them oh there's my tweezers i guess i'll put them in that other bag makes more sense i'm just eating that bag and then i just have a couple of bobbles a nail file uh, this is a deodorant. I usually use, well this is a wild deodorant, but I usually use wild deodorant, the, the bigger version. But my sister bought it for Christmas a few Christmases ago actually, and in like the little set was this like, oh it smells nice, what flavour is it? Yasmin and Mandarin Blossom. Uh, inside it was this little travel version, and so I was packing and just saw it in my toiletries and thought, haha, I will take my little travel deodorant it's a stick like so it's not liquid so that's good i have got my little travel razor i don't particularly like kind of disposable razors i usually use a like a metal big like proper one but i'm taking i have this when i go traveling because i can't take my my other one as on as hand luggage restricted item because it's got like actual proper razor blades in it and you obviously you're not allowed those on the flight so i can't take my other razor so i use this when i'm traveling unfortunately but that's just how it goes 
I guess. And then these are just random <laughs> items. Again, I just saw them and thought I will just pack them up because you never know. It's the backpacker in me that just wants to take these items. You can obviously see that that's like an open up spoon thing. I don't think I'll need it, but I just got myself and the this. It's like, it's a cool thing. It's like the size of a credit card, but then opens out into, oh, I don't like that noise. That noise bothers me. Oh, kind of a little, little utensils, just in case. I can't imagine that this is gonna be needed. But you know, sometimes you just, it's better to have these things than to not, isn't it? So I, I, will, I will just pack them, it'll be fine. In terms of just some random bits, I have a pack of playing cards. I always need a pack of playing cards when you're sitting on the beach. And I have, well, one is my son's, I will give to him to put in his bag. These are just water bottles that you can fold down. I just like having these ones rather than having to cart around a big, a big thing with me. And I'm not actually sure what the situation is around the room or whatever, but I'm hoping there's water fountains that I can just fill up with water. We shall see, I guess. You know, I think I might do now actually is see how we get on with putting these things into this bag. So we'll go main. Oh, did I show you my towel? I'm taking this flat towel. It's a, a microfiber one. I had bought this when we went traveling like back in like 2016 and it's just, I just use it all the time. It's really good. It's just, well, I mean, it's just a microfiber towel. But it doesn't take up so much space. It's got sand all over it from our last trip to the beach, but that's okay. My plan is to try to fit. Oh, actually, look, oh, there's no of space. And then my underwear and the swimsuit one can go there. liquids I need to be able to have easy access to. This could be alright actually. Could be alright. So I think, I've just been having a look over there, all my other stuff, and I think that what I might do is... Does that work? I feel like that works quite good. Liquids maybe could go there, easy reach. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Okay, what I'm thinking is, so, I have this um, bag, it's kind of like a bum bag, or I can wear it kind of over me. It will be, well, it will be where I put my, for now, inside there is my passport, well, sunglasses, Sunglasses, two passports. And we still have the nice burgundy ones. We are not have to yet move on to the blue. I don't want a blue passport. In fact, I've got mine till 28. Stephen's expires next year, but mine it goes till 28. So I've got our passports, sunglasses, and then in here is just my little handy dandy thing for money. I've got some leftover, I've got some British money that I'm just going to take. I've got some leftover Euros from whenever and the hell we last went to Europe, I can't remember. And then I've got driving licence, cash cards, things like that in here. So that is going to live on my pen. I always have my son's wallet so I've got his driving licence and stuff in there. But in terms of my personal item. I'm thinking I have, oh, I have this bag that is going to be fantastic when we're out there. Tropic Veil, vale, again, it's the same brand as the shoes. I love Tropic Veil. Vale. <laughs> I will link this down below. It is, obviously, it's a folded up right now, but you can pull it out into an amazing bag. I'm not one of those people who want like a nice fancy beach bag. I want something that is functional and serves a purpose. And this is a really good 
day bag that's actually you know it can be quite big but then i can also like it's waterproof it's got this i don't know what you call this thing where you fold it around at the top and so no water can get in which is perfect it has got like a drinks bit around the side it's got like it's just yeah i'm a fan it's got a front pocket front pocket here so i'm imagining that this will be my day bag when we're out and about or if we're going to the beach i will put this bag on like that's quite small like it will go bigger if you don't fold it over the top quite so much but maybe i could use this as my personal item and so put the things that i want access to on the plane in here does that make sense i think it does it makes sense to me anyway i've got quite a lot of tech uh right let me think about this cards and water bottle do you think i should put my water bottle in here i've put my water bottle because i don't know maybe i'll put the cards in there as well i have two little carabiners i'm just going to stick them on my bag because you can never have enough <laughs> carabiners right so all i've now got to sort out then is electrical stuff so yeah because if i'm carrying i've got this as my little personal item like this can always just go in there i feel like that could work that could work technology stuff i've got my camera that's up there i have this that i always take with me it's fantastic um you can see it's just got three plugs and six usbs i have a lot of tech with me and so this is brilliant and what i do is i have one of these which is a this is really good as well actually because it is anything on the back it's a worldwide adapter that you can also plug anything in on this side as well which works well well i mean obviously i'll put my uk plug into there but this also becomes a external battery as well if i wanted to, I, ha I am taking some other more lighter weight batteries with me but if i was desperate this then will charge up whilst it's plugged in and i can then use that as a as a portable battery which is brilliant it's also obviously got two usb ports as well so we have those i have then got so these are yeah i've got two little anchor batteries this probably does about a one full charge of our phones so i am taking two i mean obviously i'm taking one for my son as well and I think that like more so like during our time in Rome or you know the city elements we will probably be using our phone quite a lot like looking at maps and you know figuring out where we're going and so battery drain is going to be a thing on our phones so I'm going to take two of those and then I have my GoPro this is a very old GoPro now it's Hero 4 but for you know for any underwater stuff they want to take and my waterproof housing for it because these old gopros are not <laughs> waterproof the new ones are I, I in fact oh no it's actually starting to like properly break now i think we're on like gopro 10 are we now i'm not entirely sure i think i would like a new gopro but for now this one, oh my goodness, this one will do. It has served me well. I'm taking it with me, along with its extendable stick thing. Obviously, I'm going to have all my chargers, wires, like phone wires and iPad. I'm going to take my iPad. Oh my goodness, there's just so much. iPad, headphones, I've got two pairs of wired headphones because sometimes on planes me and steven or like we will like downloaded a movie on one to, on one of our ipads and then we 
I don't know if there's a better way of doing this, but this is how we do it. We plug this in <laughs> to the iPad and then plug in our headphones and then like we can both, we can watch the movie together. So I've got that. Right, nearly done with the stuff. I have this little bag, it's a really handy bag, especially if you are carrying as many wires, which I think to be honest, lots of us are carrying <laughs> lots of wires and things around us these days. Uh, I have this little bag that's really perfect. I always start off a trip with it looking all really neat and nice and you know, everything's put in its place properly by the end because I can just <laughs> zip it up and close it. I've had ones that you didn't zip up before and they used to really annoy me and so I got this one that you can zip up and so yeah when you can't be bothered to actually do all this with your wires you can just <laughs> just throw them in and close it over. So we'll put all the wires into there. It's time to just put all the electronic stuff. Oh, I have this actually. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. This is my little tripod that it's like a gorilla one, but you can bend in all the different little positions and then you can put a phone onto it. Or I could put, you can take this off. Not right now because it's not, oh yeah, there we go. And then I can put my camera onto it as well. So I'll take that with me. I think that's it now. I just need to squash everything. Squash everything into the bags and get plasters. Let me go and get plasters now before I forget. I got plasters. Will I need this? I don't actually think I will need this. Now I'm thinking about it. I might just... Let's see. <laughs> I've changed my mind on the whole uh, <laughs> personal item thing. What I think I will do is just, like, I'll have this bag, like just at the front of this bag, handy to get out. So that I can just put stuff into it at the airport, but it's not kind of, That's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm, I don't really know my thought process, but it makes sense in my head to not bother with this bag. And to just have my backpack and uh, this like, bum bag thing. And just have this available. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm going to put it the other way. Have this available to me if I need it. Which I probably will at the airport, just throw. I might just like, after we've gone through security and everything and stuff, I might just like get out. What am I doing here? I'm not concentrating on what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> to put like my iPad or any bits that I want on the plane, I might just put that, those things into this little bag and then like that bag can go in the overhead lockers. This feels pretty heavy. I've got to be honest. I've not picked it up yet, but it just has a heavy feel about it. There we go. Done. Well, I am all ready to go. I'm so excited. I am so, so excited. Um, I've just been trying to find my bag weigher so I could check on the weight of this. I can't find it. I'll have another another little look for it, but it doesn't feel like more than 10 kilos, to be honest. Now I've put it on, it feels quite comfy. But I will, I will try and find it. It's been so long since I've had to use it. I'm so excited for this trip. So, so, so excited. If you want to follow along with the trip in kind of real time, I will be posting loads on Insta stories. So make sure you follow me over there and then of course i will be sharing all about our times when we get back thank you so much for watching let me know what you've got up to over summer if you managed to get away i hope you did and i will see you in the next one